Hello, welcome. Today we have a 5 vs 5 on uh, Open Wonder. And I'm again playing in this game. I think it is a relatively interesting game, so it's worth casting it. So, as you know, in the middle there is some mass, uh, this uh, uh, Omni, and then there are some uh, few tech tree wrecks and a lot of rocks in these uh, craters. So, my plan was to try to get it as soon as possible, and I asked to Space K to not kill it. Um, because the other teddy that you can do is go in there with an artillery and uh, kill it without uh, before he actually gets reclaimed. So he managed to kill it while I said not kill it. And uh, so no reclaim. Sadness. Anyway, see how the games develop. Let's uh, show the teams a bit. So we have the North team with Mr. Mackey, 1800. Total Tuna, no, Total Tuna, um, sorry, Inquisitor, Cybran, uh, Zvlokum uh, Seraphim, Apophenas uh, uh, UEF, and uh, Andersk, uh, Aeon Air. So, opposing Hanskers, we have Joy, uh, Hail, like 300 more rating, but we just got Total Tuna. 1600, that is Seraphim versus 2800, kinda. Uh, I'm pretty much similar rating here uh, against the Inquisitor, and the uh, Space Cake has a slight advantage with Slokum, but Naki Dave is gonna have uh, a harsh time against Apophenas. So we have uh, first units out, I'm just getting as much reclaim as I can. And a uh, couple of SU moving in the middle. And the bomber trying to go for engineers. Oh, the reclaiming engineer, I guess, is gone. But probably intercepted by Anders uh, Interceptor. Okay. Here we are relatively close, and we're just trying to get all the mess that we can from this reclaim pocket. Let's give it a plus two for the moment. We have a couple of Mantis try to sneak in here. Kill one, two, three engineer, probably four. Maybe they think they're gonna go till down here. So I'm reacting with few tanks, but one is gonna be denied, but the other one is gonna kill my engineer down here. So I decided to take the mess and retreat. Not much I can do in the middle versus two ACUs. There's some bombers try to do some damage, but uh, not much happening. A few tech one units against uh, space call space cake, but yeah, not much happening. It's gonna go here, probably a header killed. What's that? What was that? The max. Okay, still Space Cake hasn't taken this uh, bad back expansion because there were some troops coming out from Apophenas that managed to get rid of uh, this tech trim axis. Uh, sorry, I missed completely that. And on this side, there's not much going on. McKay is uh, equaling like there is no tomorrow, has no units out whatsoever. Just Tico. <coughs> It's sexy when I dance. <laughs> Look at all these reclaiming uh, engineers, they're doing a good job from uh, <coughs> Fortuna. Mass and energy for him. In the middle here, I'm assisting a uh, uh, Spay Cake that is gonna go gun. And he has a decent amount of troop, uh, two or three Ishivas, versus this uh, Seraphim Tech 1 is gonna kill everything. And uh, yeah, I told him that we should attack this way, but I decided to go the other way, and uh, the eel is just blocking uh, this laser, this laser, his beam, I don't know what to call it. So on the top side, uh, Apophenas is uh, kind of kiting uh, 
naked day with mongooses. Here we are both ACUs. We highlighted these two are fake point defenses, so not really a threat to us. So I'm rolling in this way while uh, uh, Space Cake is rolling the other way. Try to do damage versus this ACU. He has the, he has the gun, why I got nothing. Naked ACU. And uh, Slokum is kinda trapped now because he doesn't have that much uh, uh, health. And uh, it's versus again I see you. And Tuna randomly ma managed to pull four tanks here. And now we got uh, Apophenas coming in defense with uh, his Mongooses. But I don't think uh, Slokum is gonna escape this, uh, this assault. So I saw here there was a PD and uh, some mobile missile launchers, so I decided to go back and kind of try to support Space Cake with all my units. Space Cake now is here all along. And it's still an even fight versus Apophenas. So Space Cake dies and Apophenas has a less than 2000 point. So we definitely want to kill him. And yeah, Apophenas managed to die versus just units. So that was a good job. But you think at this point, uh, well, we are not too bad, we have like uh, Meki, but uh, the hair player is not that great and the Inquisitor is kind of my hating. So my here wandering alone, there are some sort of mercy snipe coming, but nothing really happened and I decided to send uh, all my land unit against uh, uh, Andresk base, try to do as much damage as I can. And I decided to go back with my ACU, playing a little bit safe, try to reclaim this, uh, this base that is here. While Mr. Mackie, 96 mass income, so he's a little bit higher than Total Tuna. But Total Tuna has double his uh, power income, so lots of power for Total Tuna. He's using it. It's wasting 2k. While, uh, yeah, good management of power from Mr. Mackie. The steel has pretty much nothing on the ground. Just echoing and defenses. So here my troops uh, finally reach the uh, Andersk base. Start uh, doing damage on the texture maxes, but there are three PDs already up. So not much I can do. Versus all these PDs. Even if I have a shield is not gonna be enough. So I did kinda decide to split my unit and try to kill all these maxis in the in the periphery of uh, Andres base. And we have some gunship harassment by Joy. Trying to kill this statue power. And also Naked Dave sent some troops here, then I reclaim and everything, but not much is going on here on on the reclaim point of view. Then I leave one, just one missile launcher try to kill these two point defenses when my troops are going back. And these gunships, uh, oh, that's really close. They managed to take out that touch of power, so that was a really nice attack. Um, what's happening on the other side? It's not much. Try to retake the base here. My troops are slowly doing damage. I got a pillar in the mix. Uh, Andersk uh, ACU is up here, so he can't really do much against my troops. And uh, Mr. Mac is still has no troops uh, at all. At the 11 minutes in, he hasn't produced a single unit of if he has. I haven't really seen it. Now he starts spamming some flag. So some major scouting operation from Total Tuna, see what's going on. Also total tune, lots of engineers, shields, 
defenses, but uh, not much else. But he has uh, half of the eco of Mr. Mackey. I don't really know how. Anyway, here we are uh, Inquisitor, he's trying to push back this force from uh, Naked Dave. And my troops here are still harassing uh, everything they can. And I start echoing up a little bit, I'm still lagging behind, really. Hardcore. Well, apart Anders, because I managed to kill all his ego. But the real big threat now is Mr. Mackey. Oh, sorry, I was going in minus one. That's, that's why I was going so slow. Okay, we have a drop here. Probably some engineers. Engineers helping uh, Naked Dave to take uh, this side. And yeah, Mr. Mackey has tech three land. Start spamming Arbingers. Now my troops have been defeated by some tech one uh, spam and uh, Arbinger, actually Titans. So here we kind of see that uh, Inquisitor was a bit isolated, yet he has this band of uh, one missile launcher, a couple of tattoo tanks, but not much. So we decide to do a combined attack against him. Let's see how, you, how it works out. So Anders down to 7 mass, he won't be able to do that much at all. So that's good for us. Joy also really low mass income for some reason. He hasn't kept his maxes yet. So here, see, the the problem is that those titans, if there weren't for those titans, probably all these base would have been killed. But yeah, those titans saved the day. Now I'm retreating back, but those, not many of those troops are going to come back alive. And now, as you can see, we have a texture factory that is probably going to soon to get to tech 3. And, uh, yeah, he's actually decided to go for Tetri, yeah. So that's not too bad. And, uh, Naked Day tried to decide to support his ACU with all these drops. And they're gonna be successful with some Tech 1 and Tech 2 units. But there is the Inquisitor ACU here, and it's just uh, overcharging all of them. So not much left from uh, for Naked Dave that is going for a push. Inquisitor has even more hit point than him. And now lots of troops are incoming uh, towards Naked Dave. And there are uh, six titans harassing his base, so not looking that great. I try to send all my troops, all the troops that I got, try to protect him. And getting overcharged. <laughs> and I'm trying to use my CU, try to deny as many of these uh, Titans as I can. Not really much I can do, but a nice little charge here will do a job, hopefully. Yeah, the overcharge was decent. Now, still, Naked Dave is a bit of in danger. He has 6,000 in point, retreating towards his point defenses. And the strat bombers are coming for him. And there are strat bombers also coming for Inquisitor. So let's slow it down. So, boom, Naked Dave is as, as at uh, 3k, and Inquisitor is at 5k's. Should send these two ISF against this bomber. Well, they're just killing engineers at the moment. As they're going against the bomber. And another pass. Miss the bomb. And there is a lot of touchy flag here.
steal three of those uh, titans wandering around. Not good. Now Inquisitor is a 6k to Cavett or something. And uh, Naked Day is still sitting there taking a bomb in his face that pretty much kills him. And we have three mercies going out from Inquisitor. Oh, bam! So double knockout here. Good job from uh, both Joy and Mickey uh, helping their allies. And now this map is gonna be slightly more empty. All this part is gonna go away. And we're just 3 versus 2. Uh, eco wise, Mackie has less eco than Total Tuna. And Total Tuna has less power than Mackie. However, her player is in, uh, in way better shape than Hans Andersk. But he doesn't have any much tech 3 air. He's producing mercies for some reason. And now he doesn't need them anymore. So again, I decide to come here and take all the reclaim. Building up troop and defense, you have like a big line of, I don't even know how many PDs are built here. Enough, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Turtle UEF mode on. But yeah, I don't have uh, much uh, anti-air at the moment. Just send this poop bomber on his death. And uh, a random titan survive. He's gonna do as much as damage as he can. My eco is really bad. I haven't really maxed my. Uh, I haven't really added the ADSNC to my maxes at the moment. I'm starting now. And there are two tactic bombers coming at me. And I'm building a shield. Try to spam as many shields and then tier I can. She goes down straight away. Try to escape a bit. But yeah, my hair player is doing nothing yet. One ASF. And what he decide to do, he decide to spam a couple of bombers. He's still spamming bombers. Yeah, I'm at 3000 points versus two tech three bombers. You can't really do that much. And yeah, 500 and boom. I give all my eco to Total Tuna at the moment. Try to give him a nice boost. Still lagging behind even with all my mess. And now there is a snipe uh, attempt but failed badly. Like you go versus a tech 3 UEF shield with two strats. And now the hair. Uh, Engagement uh, doesn't go really well for us, and uh, Mackie takes end control. Now, Total Tuna hit Tactic Stage. And we see what happens here. We have a band of Percival um, going straight toward Joy's base. And uh, I don't know what he can do with it since he's kind of like uh, air blocked. And I don't even know if his DCU is able to survive against this. We have some uh, sniper bot from Total Tuna. Try to do some damage. No, the replay is over now. Fuck. Well, I don't really know how the game ended, guys, but I hope you enjoyed it till here. And uh, yeah, I should have started the other replay rather than the replay from my in, uh, local. Because I quit the game at some stage and say, oh, it's going so slow. Anyway, I hope you like it and GG's.